All right, easing into our tips. First one's gonna be nice and easy. It's the W key to preview what your product's gonna look like. So in InDesign, if you don't have the W turned on, it's gonna have all these borders. All you have to do is press W to preview to see what your page looks like without the borders. I use this all the time, so that's why it's gonna be at number one. Let's move on. Have you ever typed a paragraph and you don't really know if everything is spelled correct because InDesign doesn't really check your spelling and you want to ha you have to go into spelling and then hit the spell check and run this whole program. Well, there's an easier way to do it. All you have to do is go into the same tab uh, under edit spelling and check on dynamic spelling. It'll pull up all these red squiggly that we're all familiar with from Word. And it'll tell me that farce is not a word and project is also not a word. You can right click and correct your word just like how you would do it in Microsoft Office. Next one also related to text is, have you ever typed a paragraph and it's making all these different hyphenations for you? Right here it says present, pre present. it's kind of hard to read. Anyways, we want to get rid of these hyphens. So all we have to do is go into type and then pull up our paragraphs tab and all we have to do is uncheck hyphenate. So here you can see that I got rid of all of the hyphenations in my paragraph. Okay, another great tip that I have for text is sometimes you make these text boxes and they look like this. You have a, a giant text box, not enough text to fill it, uh, and you have to adjust your text box so that you know, you're know you adjusting it here, so maybe it basically fits this so you can adjust it a little bit better. But what you can actually do is, all you have to do is select the text box, double click on one of the quarters, and it'll basically make that shape nice and tight for you. And I found this useful in many occasions, but hope you use this one and enjoy it. All right, another one that is related to text is if you wanna convert this into an outline or its own object, all we have to do is go up to type and then we have to press create outline. And what that's gonna do is make this all outlined. So we're going to click this, ungroup, and you can see that I'm able to basically manipulate this. And these are lines that are drawn rather than a text object. So we can basically change things like the stroke, we can change things like what's inside it, and many other things that you can do with objects rather than text. Okay, this next one, I wish I knew a lot earlier, but you can see here I have three images on the top laid out nicely. Now, what I used to do is create frames one by one and then adjust its size. But what InDesign actually allows you to do is if you just make one that encompasses all three, press the left and right arrows, it'll actually make these divisions for you. So if I press left and right, you can see that it's making that. If I press up and down, we can actually make more rows. So the rows and columns you can control left and right. And here you can see that these ones are all individually editable. So pretend I have this picture that I just imported in here and it looks like this, but I wanna fit it to the frame. So we can right click and go into fitting and we can actually fit the frame proportionally. What that does is it basically squeezes it into this frame. Whereas the other one, which is fit content proportionally is going to size your picture so that it fits into the frame. So it might have, you know, uh, white bands on the left, right, top or bottom. You can also use the keyboard shortcut keys, which I've used a lot is uh, control, alt, shift, and content, which is C, or you can do control, shift, alt, extent, which is E. Next one I'm going over is align. Pretend I have these three pictures that are kind of all squiggly in a way. They're not really aligned. I want them nice and perfectly aligned. I can select all of them. I have all of these different align options. So for example, I want all of them to align to the bottom and I want all of them to be spaced out evenly. So here I can click that. Here InDesign will help me space everything out evenly to look nice according to the box that it's in. If you don't see the align option, you can go into window, you can go to object and layout and check on align and this window will pop out for you. Now, the thing that I wanna mention is you can align to objects or you can align to the entire artboard. So for example, if I change this to align to page, and I click something like the middle, you can see that it's actually aligning to the middle of the page rather than the selection itself. Uh, if I do this to multiple, you can see what that looks like. It's aligning to the page rather than themselves. But if I change this back into, oops, sorry. If I change this back to align to selection, that means whatever I'm selecting, it's gonna align to that. So just to demonstrate one more time, if I select all of these again and well, let me drag this one out. But if I select all of these again and I make them centered, you can see that it's basically centering to the selection rather than the page itself. 
This next tool is super useful when we're making basically anything, but it's the paste in place command. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show this by basically creating a new page. And you can see my new page is here. Maybe I'll create two just so they're on the same plane. But if I wanna copy my entire layout here, exactly it is onto this page, I can click, right click, and then copy it. And I can actually go over here, right click, and the second option is paste in place. And you can see that it's just, it's gonna copy every single thing in the same place as it was in my previous page. Okay, this next one's going to be a preview. So here, if you import any basically images into your file, it's gonna look blurry. So my hand is super pixelated. You can basically go into view over print preview to basically uh, see how it'll look like when it's prints on every single picture, which might really lag or blow up your laptop. Uh, I'm gonna check that off. Or you can go into individual pictures. So right now it is blurry. I can click on this picture, right click it, go down to display performances. And if I check high quality display, it's gonna do the same thing as it did over here at the with the overprint preview. And the last one I'm gonna go over is the pre-flight. Uh, so if you guys don't have the pre-flight, we can go into window, go down into our outputs and check on pre-flight. So it's gonna check for any errors for us. Right now it's telling me that I have a text error. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, double click on this to see where it is. It's telling me that a text frame is cutting off some text. So you can see if I drag this out and everything is basically displayed, the error will go away and I know that my page is ready to export without any errors here. All right, hope everybody learned something new. Let me know which comments or commands that you already knew or which one you thought was cool or didn't know that you learned about. As always, please don't hesitate to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm really grateful that everybody got us to 10,000 subscribers. This is a huge milestone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me know what you wanna see next and I'll keep pumping these out. So see you guys in the next one.